Hello everyone, Casey Runner for Casey Runner Games, and we are back today with another episode of American Dad. As you can see, we are still in the middle of the event. As a matter of fact, we're not in the middle, we are at the end. We have two hours left in the event, and there's supposedly no extension, so these two and a half hours are going to be it. And, as you can see, the last time we were here, I ended up going up this middle path, or I ended up, we, we did this path here. The first time we, we did this path, second time we did this path. And since then, I've kind of been going up as I've been completing things, going up this middle path until we got to the big items here. So, as I've mentioned before, my goal was to complete this. And it turns out I bit off a bit more than I can chew. But that was my goal, and that is certainly what we're going to be doing. So we are going to be knocking that out in this video before this uh, event ends. Um, real quick before we get into that, I, as you can see, I am updating my command center. Oops, sorry, wrong game. My situation room. That was the last thing we had to upgrade. And as I mentioned before, um, don't do what I do. I'm not I'm not really to the point where I should be upgrading that yet. But at the same time, given the way, you know, I'm not getting all that again, but given what I need to do for me and um, doing videos and stuff, I felt like I needed to move up. Um, almost always I'm in the top three and I get many, many top, top finishes. I did actually get like a back-to-back three though so it's not always first obviously no a second and a third sorry so obviously my squad strength is it's good it's not it's really not bad i'm at 663 but i fight people in the 700s and 800s and i can beat some of the 700s for sure not too many 800s um you know they got artifacts and they got top you know level 70 legendaries and i don't have all that and my recommendation if you guys are leveling and properly doing this you should get fully maxed le legendary gear all of the legendary gear, the armor, the, the amulets, the rings, and I'm com combining my games here, but the terms are a little bit different here, but every single one of the items should be somewhere near max level and capability. So the jewelry should be maxed, legendary, the clothes, and the weapons. I don't have that, but I do have a fairly good squad set up here. So my goal is to get up to the next one, which will be um, Situation Room 9, and get everybody up to level 85, and get top gear, and then get all the way up to 10. So that's that's the goal. I'm rushing it, and I certainly shouldn't be, but I have been productive at least at it, so I'm still able to do well in the arena, which which is helpful. So, All right, so without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and uh, see what, what other items we can get here. Um, as you can see, we got a, a few more golden turds. Since I, I mentioned that I was going to complete it, I had to go and uh, buy a few. Again, I wouldn't recommend that because for me, I'm already productive at this level, so I don't really need to get better gear to be more productive. Um, and I'm not going to be able to use this for very long because I go up to the next level. I'll be using, you know, I'll get level 85, so buying 70 gear is not the most useful. But the reason I'm doing this is one, I kind of want this backstab amulet. Oh, sorry, that backstab amulet. And two, um, I was fighting with level 40 and level 55 gear here and being quite good. So, so since the player base here is not quite as good at fighting I'm able to succeed at lower levels of my ability so I'm expecting to do that going forward so all right that's enough we're taking way too long to make, make some progress so let's go ahead and jump in and see what kind of items we can get legendary amulet this will be immediately useful whatever it is armor energy armor and health there we go there's our tank we're gonna go one by one here let's go ahead and put that on our tank at least for a moment we might need to take it off because you know might not be use Ooh, actually that's a good one too. Let's let's do a compare. So we got armor, which is up good. Health, which is up, which is good. And we got energy armor. So we'll go ahead and upgrade this. The efficiency of all healing received by this unit is increased by 20%. So I don't have a healer, but he heals himself. So that means healing is better. We'll have to do a compare and see if this is actually better or not. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that. And then we'll go to... One of these guys, what do you got? You got 52. Sorry for the lag here, it's a little bit slow. And then you are rocking a 40. So, like I said, I am still using level 40 gear for some of my stuff here. Uh, armor up, we don't have energy armor, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. Quick, so better. All right, so that puts our squad power up. We're going to be taking this a little bit slow, 672. Not a huge increase, but obviously stronger, defensively stronger, which 
uh, especially for my tank is the most thing. Having my uh, archers in the back be a little more defensively strong is not um, not really key to my success here. So, all right, now in order to proceed, we need to make some purchases. And in order to do this, I need to buy another one of these big, big suckers right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend the 4,000. Uh, I already put money in to, to buy these, so I should have enough to do what we need to do. Um, we still have two hours, so I could actually grind the game a little bit more, get some more hearts so I don't have to spend as much, but at the same time, I have other stuff to do and it's getting kind of late here. So um, it is what it is. We're going to call it here and see what we can do. We'll have to spend a little bit more to get there. All right, we got a legendary armor. Good. I really like my tank armor. So um, obviously this is probably more useful because it's so much higher. When taking damage, 33% chance of increasing on health, which I really like that one a lot. Um, but I really like that snowman outfit. It's been so useful to the squad. Let's do a little compare here and see what that's going to do with our snowman. He's currently at 138. We go here and then here and then here. So health is up 14,000, armor is up 600, and energy armor is up 200. But we don't have that going. So let's go ahead and cannot equip. Why not? Oh, is it 69? I oh. I uh, I didn't level up all the way up to 70 because I'm not sure if there's 5 by I haven't looked at my fighters I've been competing against but 5 by 70 it could put me into a higher level which means I'd be fighting tougher people which is why I haven't done it and that could be part of the reason that I have been uh, having a little bit easier time at it alright well, well we'll need to uh, now might be a time to actually come to think about it let's take not you you're 55 Let's take you, start leveling you up to 70 so he'll be ready to go. And then I'll probably switch him over to my tank. Um, maybe, we'll see. Because um, now that I'm updating my commencer, I can get up to 5 by 70 and be fine. Um, yeah, I should have did that earlier in the day. I forgot, kind of, so that's fine. But by tomorrow morning, that'll be there. Ooh, that's loud. Probably not for you guys. It's loud in my ears. All right, well, we have we got a piece of armor that we will be putting on at a later point, but could be useful. All right, purple shards, always useful. Let's go ahead and buy those. And here's our love glove. 4,500, once in a while deals. This, like I said, in general, I don't like it, but my, uh, um, my squad currently has two damage dealing mages, not mages, whatever you call them in this game. Uh, what do we got? Um, engineers? Yeah. Damage dealing engineers, which, like I said, is not usually my way to go, but it's been it's been very helpful. My squad's been very, very productive with this extra power, so this might be, might be useful. Let's go see what Colin does with it. This is a 70? 69. Good. Okay. So DPS goes up immediately by 400, because this is a slow one. And that also was slow, so that's no different. Um, energy charge, we got an extra 450 energy. We lose our dodge, which hurts a bit. We got some extra crit in there. Once in a while, deals a 12 nine, that's about the same. This is up an extra 2,000. An extra 47 to the target, depending on the target's health. Plus, we got some instant kill in there. So I think it would be fun to do some testing with these for sure. Um, we won't probably be doing it in this video, but. Um, it would be fun to stay at this level for a while and see uh, see where it could take me and see what we uh, what we could do with it. So we are up to 686, and if we uh, had that um, tank tank gear on, we'd be up a little bit higher still. All right, so that leaves us one thing left. But as you can see, we have a problem. We still need an extra 4,306 hearts. What does that mean? It means we're going to buy some more. So, again, we could do some grinding, but we're not going to. So, we need 1,606. Um, 20 of those. No, wrong number. 1,005 of those. Let's do four just to make sure. One, two, three, four. The golden turret's getting really low. So, one more 330 will take care of it. Or, should we go down to the even lower level? We can't. That was the lowest level. All right, done. Not even gonna waste any time. Have other stuff to do. 
Now we are really hurting on golden turds. We got our 16,000. We're going to get our legendary artifact here. Backstab. Uh, very nice. We will go ahead and put that on our big, biggest damage dealing. Um, this guy, Gunslinger. All right, so this is slow and 69. Each strike increases the damage done. That could be useful, 3,700. And then we have this guy, 3,700 crit, 33% chance of dealing extra damage. 20% chance of hanging an enemy to switch your side. I think, I'm not sure what the best is. I think I'm gonna go here. So let's go ahead and give you Let's change your name, I don't like it. Um, let's go to Hathead for the time being. Perfect. Okay. We need so that. We need you. 131,000 equip up 40,000. This will be fun to do some, some testing right there. All right, that puts us over 700,000. We're still severely underpowered, but way stronger than we were before. So I will uh, do a couple tests on that. I'm not going to do it here in this video, um, but I am going to do a couple in the background while I'm doing some other stuff. So that will, that will wrap it up. The Path of the Heart. We completed everything. Obviously, we could go and spend a whole lot more on this, but not going to do that. Not important, especially considering... None of these are going to be useful in the long run. So that's part of my reason for rushing up to 100. So once I can get this gear, it can stay in my squad and I can, you know, shift as, as needed. Um, and that will fit the flow of how I'm doing multiple games and, you know, multiple videos and stuff like that. So that's, uh, that's where we're headed. But for the time being, strong for sure. We can, uh, we can do some damage with that. So let me know in the comments how you guys have done. What did you, uh, how far did you get? Did you get all the items? Did you even participate? Um, this is certainly the way to get stronger. So one, doing these events when they pop up, and the second way is Bazooka Shark's Nest, especially if you're like a Situation Room 6 or 7. You need to be grinding this every weekend, get the legendary gear, max out your squad, get fully fully maxed out, and um, also grind the morning mimosa, get your, um, get your bottles here, and you can use those to buy artifacts as well. And once you get up higher levels, you can buy legendary artifacts here on the market. So I can start getting them now. I haven't bought these because I knew I was going up and I was strong enough ready. So I might buy them at the next level. We'll see how quickly I can be productive because I'm, you know, I'm winning all the time. But once I go up, I'm not going to win anymore. So I'll have to see how quickly I want to um, buy those versus waiting and just keeping these all until I get to the next level. Because I think at TR10 or Situation 10, at least in Hustle Castle, it's 25000 to get the artifacts. And obviously that would only be enough for me to get three. So um, I don't want to waste them if I can use them later on. So that is that is the long-term goal. Um, but I'm sure we will have another event coming here soon because that is the way to go. People people spend money, and this game is about making money, just like most games are. So and people are getting stronger. So uh, we will be doing that one for sure. And in the meantime, until that comes up, we'll be working on getting our first guys up to 85. So when that ha event happens, we can get 85 gear, which will be our goal. So. That will do it for me here in the American Dad Game and Path of Heart event. So, again, like I said, let me know in the comments how you guys did and whether you participated or not. And I will be catching up with everybody real soon. This is QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will see you later. See ya.